welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm so glad you've joined us. Today is Monday, January 29th. We're reflecting on the fourth Sunday after Epiphany. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds as we begin our time of prayer together. Let's pray. Compassionate God, you gather the whole universe into your radiant presence and continually reveal your Son as our Savior. Bring wholeness to all that is broken and speak truth to us in our confusion that all creation will see and know your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now let's hear today's scripture reading from the book of Acts, chapter 21. May the word of God speak to our souls. When we arrived in Jerusalem, the brothers welcomed us gladly. The next day, Paul went in with us to see James, and all the elders were there. When Paul had greeted them, he began to explain in detail what God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. When they heard this, they praised God. Then they said to him, you see, brothers, how many thousands of Jews there are who have believed, and they are all ardent observers of the law. They have been informed about you, that you teach all the Jews now living among the Gentiles to abandon Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children or live according to our customs. What then should we do? They will no doubt hear that you have come. So do what we tell you. We have four men who have taken a vow. Take them and purify yourself among, along with them, and pay their expenses so that they may have their heads shaved. Then everyone will know that there is nothing in what they have been told about you, but that you yourself live in conformity with the law. But regarding the Gentiles who have believed, we have written a letter, having decided that they should avoid meat that has been sacrificed to idols, and blood, and what has been strangled, and sexual immorality. Then Paul took the men the next day, and after he had purified himself along with them, he went to the temple and gave notice of the completion of the days of purification, when the sacrifice would be offered for each of them. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now, having heard God's word, let's lift up our concerns and thanksgivings to God, knowing that he hears and cares for us. I invite you to join me in prayer, either silently or out loud. Even though we may be far apart, we're united right now in prayer and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, 
nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let us pray to the Lord. That the people of God in all the world may worship in spirit and in truth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That the church may discover again that unity which is the Father's will. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That the nations of the earth may seek after the ways that make for peace. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That the whole creation, groaning in travail, may be set free to enjoy the glorious liberty of the children of God. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That all who with Christ have entered the shadow of death may rest in peace and rise in glory. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Let us commend the world to which Christ showed the way, to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We hope this time has been a source of encouragement and inspiration for you. If you enjoyed this program, please share it with a friend or family member. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you're interested in supporting our ministry, you can make a donation at our website, goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what you may face today, God is with you, and you are loved. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.